and we're back to Inkscape. I've received another question. We want to have a zigzag cutout of an image and you can see if you select the image and we go to path object to path, it isn't really detected as something that could be turned into a path. So we can't use the usual method to just cut through this image, for example, with a path. When you create your zigzag line, you can obviously use the paths tool, the pen tool right here. Let me give it a stroke, no fill, and you can see this is a path. For our tutorial, we are going to render one. But first, let me create a rectangle. Snapping is enabled. I give it a fill, then I hold shift, click on X to get rid of the stroke. It's as big as our image. I put it up here. I deselect it. I'll go to extensions, render. I use the gear and rec gear. Check the preview and contact angle should be 45 degrees. And then you have a zigzag line. Adjust the rec length and tooth spacing to your needs. Don't forget to apply, then close it. Let me zoom in a little bit. So here it is. Let me size that up. I hold control when I do. And now position it on the image where you want your zigzag cutout to be. Then reposition the rectangle. This is a rectangle, we can directly work on it. You can see that below. But the path that we've rendered is actually a group. So we need to ungroup it first. Shift Control G would be an option or you go to object and ungroup. It's important that it says path. It should, once you've ungrouped it, then hold shift and click on rectangle. So I've got my zigzag line and the rectangle selected right here. And now I go to path and use division. And afterwards you can reposition top and bottom parts of the rectangle, which further allows you to adjust the zigzag thickness here. Let me disable the snapping for now, or we can do that a little bit more freely. This should be fine. Select both, so once again shift and left click on both elements. I re enable the snapping and make sure that it covers the sides. Something like this. So both elements are selected. You can see that down below. Two objects, go to path and combine. And afterwards select all. So our combined rectangle with the zigzag cutout and the image below. Right click and then set a clip. And if I now create, let me for example use the rectangle tool, put it to bottom, and I move it. Behind the image, you can see it's a cutout. So this is the method that I would use to create a zigzag cutout in an image. I hope that this has answered your question. If not, let me know. In any case, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.